So we're having a bit of physics fun in the lab. Um, I'm looking at sort of circular motion um, and simple harmonic motion and phase changes. So what I've got here, this is a, uh, a turntable for a record player. I've got two rulers. I've got a piece of blue tack, this blob of blue tack at the end. I've got a pendulum on a rod set up here. Here's the pendulum. And uh, there's light beaming onto the whole apparatus going that way. So towards the right screen. So I'm going to get a shadow. So let's put on first my circular motion. So there we go. So we've got a certain frequency. Now if you're dead clever, you'll be able to time that and work out the frequency. Okay. What I could do is have a go at this. I might be able to put my pen in the right spot. That might help you work out the frequency of rotation. There it goes. And then I'm going to get my blue tap ball and try and align it right. Let's see if I can do it. Nope, not quite. Let's try again. Now, what you're seeing actually there is a phase difference. So one lags the other. They should perfectly match because what I've done is I've got a fixed frequency on the turntable here, but the length of the pendulum cord dictates that the frequency should be the same. So you could predict actually what the length of my string is. But if I get it right, almost, they are just about there in phase, aren't they? They are following each other, not, not gaining or losing time. They are pretty much perfectly matched. So that's a nice little demonstration on simple harmonic motion and circular motion, how they match. Like I said, if you can use a timestamp from the video, and you've clearly got, like I said, there's a lovely mark here. You should be able to work out the period. And from it, you should be able to work out the length of the pendulum string. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure that. So let me see. The pendulum string is in fact, hold on, pendulum string is, oh hold on, put the ruler in the right place. So I'm measuring from the centre of mass of the pendulum bob, it's 43 centimetres. So 43 centimetres or 430 millimetres, see if that works out. There's a video for Animated Science.